Don't look at my hair, I was meaning to get it cut. Am I recording this on a phone? Yes. No, shut up. Oh my god, Connie, how many more years are you gonna milk Unus Anas? Yes. The microphone is now on screen because I need you to hear me loud and clearly. Happy Unus anniversary, I guess. So if you're new to me or just don't care about my content other than the animatics I make, last year I stole Mr. Lixian's content where he talks about how he feels he let the concept of Unus Anas down, where he feels like he felt the message and then he set some goals for him to achieve and I did the same thing he did which is divide his goals in active and passive goals. You should watch that video and you should watch my video then next. And I wanted to review those goals in this video. Let's do a little catching up, alright? It's been a year. It's been a year since the last of this. So, you know, the year isn't over yet, but Unusanas has kind of built its own religion, <coughs> cult, and we have kind of our own new year now. So, at the end of last year, I finished a short film, which is impressive, honestly. Really fun, I passed my second year of uni, so I guess that happened, I survived 2021. I wrote a brand new project that I'm really excited to film and record. If I weren't such a pussy. I started my last year of uni, which I am very much struggling to finish, but believe in me, I'm, I'm, I'm right there. I turned 20, which actually that frame my cousin painted for me for my birthday, so thank you. You know, sad things happen too. I wasn't exempt of crying this year as much as I hate that and don't want to admit that I have emotions. What else happened? The queen is fucking dead. Markiplier OnlyFans, Jacksepticeye Artist, Pankmas is happening um, in about a month. Um, I was planning on being in that, you know, streaming for for that cause for the first time in my life. Yeah, that I don't think that's happening. But now that we're all caught up and we're all friends and we're all understanding each other a bit more, I watched the video I made last year because you know I needed to. I needed to. And I noticed that I was kind of a downer. Like if you if you come here after watching that, you can see that I was kind of a downer. I was really sad. I was disappointed in myself. I was being really hard on myself and genuinely felt like I had done absolutely nothing. I was a Debbie Downer, if you will. I'm you're a Debbie, Debbie Downer. Down. You're a Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer. Down. And I hardly gave myself credit for the things that I had done. I felt like I had done absolutely nothing that year. And have you ever tried making a short film? That, that shit's hard. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I, I was the head of it. I was writer-director. How do you do that? I worked really hard, That which caused me to pass my classes, make a short film, and in retrospective, I guess I should have cut myself some slack. Maybe I let Unus Anas down in terms of mentality. Genuinely don't think that like, I genuinely had the Unus Anas mentality down, clearly. But, you know, I sure didn't stay in bed 24-7, which is kind of hard to believe. So let's review the goals that I set myself last year and see if I managed to make anything. So my active goals were posting one video a month, which I did. I did. I barely did it. I barely got it in, but I did. That's a cat. You can't hold it against me. I did it. I posted one video a month. Period. Some of them were cringy, some of them were like a minute long, but I did it and I stuck to it. Past my main class. Considering the year is still going, I have a month left of the year, so I still haven't technically passed it, but considering it's the last year, the last three weeks of class, I think I have it in the bag. Stream once a month. You know how this went. If you didn't know, I have a Twitch channel that's drier than this horror desert. It's terrible. I tried streaming a couple of times, but the thing with me is that with streaming and with live performance, I have great anxiety. I can't do it unless the specific right moment and situation are present. Therefore, um, I didn't, I, di I didn't do this one, it's a big nobody nope. This mentality of that I have to wait for a right moment for 
me to do things have kept me from doing so many things. In reality, there are no right moments. You can't just wait for the right moment to begin a thing, you just have to do it. Otherwise, it'll never happen. So, get on with it. Get, get over yourself. And in terms of passive goals that I set myself this year, was enter a film festival and win, which I did submit my short film to many festivals, and I did get in, but I didn't win anything because it's not good. But hey, I guess I managed to do it, and I guess I qualify as a filmmaker now, which, what is the title? Why do I have it? I think that's wrong. I feel like I shouldn't say that. I feel like, like, I don't deserve it. Get better at video editing. I don't know, you tell me. I'm, I understand. Fun fact, I did re-edit this short film we made because we had like an editor and I decided, you know what, I have all the raw footage, I'm gonna do it myself now just because practice. And now I have a brand new director's cut for that short film, which I may or may not next year, you know, post it here and make a, a stream with director's commentary on top of it, Markiplier style, you know. Let me know if you want to see it and if you want to watch it, you, you, let me know, I, I might post it, I might not, you know, I don't know. So those were the goals for last year. Now the question is, what are my goals for 2023? What am I gonna do? What do I want to do? If we're talking truly and honestly, I don't think I have any. The only goal I have right now, get my degree. I don't really have any long-term goals to think about and I don't think that works for me considering hey one day you could be having fun and the other day we have to stay inside our houses for two weeks then two years who knows what's gonna happen you know better leave it open to interpretation so at the moment I don't really have specific goals that I want to go towards I read a comment on the previous video that told me when you set goals for yourself, you have to know what you want and why you want it. And that's the thing that's clouding my mind right now, like, I don't know what I want. I'm in the peak? I don't know, is 20 a peak of my life right now and I don't know what I want with it because I have my entire life ahead of me and that's too many years. Honestly, that's way too many. I didn't ask for this many. But I guess here we are. But if we have to set goals at least to go with something, I would say that my active goals would be streaming video once a month again. I did the video once, I can do it again. I streaming, that's the new one and I'm gonna try to stick to it. I probably won't, but you know. Another short film I have in the makings, you know, the one I mentioned, and I'm really in love with it, and I really want to make it. But you know, making a short film is hard, but I want to try. I, I also have scripted more projects like Three People in, the, in a Room, which I I hope you watched it and I hope you liked it. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. But I have more like one person production in the works, you know, written down, which is really exciting for me. Charity streaming. I want to try charity streaming. I want to try doing it for charity, you know, maybe Thank Miss thank the, the last... Oh my god. Thank Miss next year. There we go. Maybe I'll have gathered some practice. With the passive goals, I would say let's try to hit 50k. You know? 50k? 50k? Just 50k. We're 1k away. And it has been... 1, 2k's? It has been that way for like 2 years now. Let's get it to 50k. Poppy Rope! My boy told me! He got to 100k, congratulations by the way, my dude. I can get to 50k? If, if we get to 50k, if we get to, if we get to 50k, I'll do a, a q and a. I'll do a q and a. If we get to 50k, I'll, I'll do a q and a. You get to know more about me. Do you want to know more? I feel like you don't want to know more about me. I feel like that's not a good incentive and I'm not making an OnlyFans. Now that I said that I want to make the short film, I guess, win something, get it into film festivals, win something, because I do think that it has potential. My screenplay was praised by my teacher, so I feel very confident about that. That was the ego boost I needed. So with that dump of information that I just laid on you, 
and with the soul of Unus Anas coursing through our veins and as we dance of Italy away from this year and this month, I think we're done with this video. I don't know how I ended. I never know how to end videos. I guess Twitter is dead. If you want to follow me on Twitter, go ahead. It's the same name as my channel. Tumblr? Instagram? I don't know what else I have. You just put my name in. Connie McFalcon. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. If you want. You know, I draw. I'm an artist. Go to my red bubble. Error MC Falcon. There we go. My red bubble. Full of stuff. If you want to get someone something for Christmas, there's my red bubble. Get a t shirt, a sticker, a magnet. One of those blocks that have the drawing on it, you know? Those are good. Those are really nice. They're pins. Pins, for God's sake. Yeah, I think I'm done. Have a nice year. Think about Unisanis. Think about your life. And, you know, memento mori. <laughs>